Building a combination manual motor starter using Fuji components offered by Automation Direct. I'm Carrie Scheiber and this is part 3, Assembling the Combination Motor Starter. The only tools that are required for assembly are a few screwdrivers. Step 1, start by mounting the manual motor starter to the base plate. While holding the base plate in one hand, slip the DIN rail clip of the manual motor starter onto the mounting rail, then press it onto the rail until it snaps into position. If preferred, screws can be installed for a tighter mount. To remove the manual motor starter, simply insert a screwdriver into the DIN rail clip release tab and pry the tab away from the manual motor starter. The manual motor starter will pop away from the base plate mount. Step 2. The link module links L1, L2, and L3 between the manual motor starter and the contactor. Verify that the contacts are in the open position. Laying the base plate on a table with the manual motor starter to the right, position the link module with the label facing towards you. Simply slide the poles of the link module into the contacts. Then tighten the contact screws. Step 3. As you can see, the coil is located on the top of the contactor. This could be a problem when trying to connect the contactor to the link module. The solution is to remove and rotate the front of the body so the coil is positioned at the bottom of the contactor. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws that secure the front to the back of the body. Separate the front from the back of the body. Turn the front of the body 180 degrees and attach it back to the body. Then remount with the screws, making sure that no foreign matter enters the interior of the magnetic contactor during the removal and remounting procedure. This procedure is for the 55mm size contactors SC-E1 through SC-E3. For the smaller 45mm SC-E02 through SC-E05 contactors, simply remove the arc chamber cover by inserting a flat blade screwdriver between the cover and the terminal screw. Lift the arc chamber to remove it and rotate 180 degrees. Align the cover with the top and bottom terminals and press firmly to attach. To attach a contactor to the link module, verify that the contacts are open. Then slide the contactor onto the link module poles. Next, tighten the two mounting screws located at opposite corners of the contactor. Then tighten the three contact screws. Step 4. Mount the assembled unit into the panel for wiring. We are now ready to connect the wiring. 